Hi everyone. Today I wanted to show you the Brock strength exercise. So uh, as many of you know, visual issues are common post-concussion and um, one of those visual issues tend to be convergence and sufficiency. Now I'm just showing you this exercise, not because I'm telling you to do it, but I'm showing you this exercise because in case you've been prescribed this exercise, you'll have a refresher on how to do it. Um, if you kind of get into this exercise too early in your rehabilitation, you could actually worsen your symptoms and it has more to do with um, the way our body handles visual stimulus. So when we use uh, our visual system, we use it in the context of our somatosensory and vestibular system. And if those systems are not optimized, then the visual system can still further upset the balance of the way your brain handles these systems. I know it sounds a bit complicated, but we have some articles on our website about the same thing and uh, our podcast episodes have the same thing. Uh, but I just want to show you this exercise so you have a reference. So you can go to Michael's or any kind of store and just dollar store and get a string like this and get some beads and put them together. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to work on our brain's ability to tell our eyes to bring the eyes close together. And so we're just using these beads as a, as a stimulus, something that just kind of attract our attention. And so you just want to kind of tie up the string like this or um, parallel with the horizontal or maybe slightly below. And then you just hold it to your nose. And um, then what you want to do is you put the, the bead somewhere far away just to start and see that you see if I'm looking at the bead and I see one bead, I'll see two strings because I'm seeing double vision here. Double vision is normal. We see it all the time, every day, but our brain kind of suppresses it because you can only focus on one thing at a time. And so I'm focusing on the green bead. I'm seeing two strings. What you'll notice is the string on the left is actually coming from my right eye. And if you block your right eye, you'll see that. The string on my right is coming from my left eye. And if you block your left eye, you'll see it disappear and it'll come back. That awareness is important. This exercise has so many different progressions, so we can take this in so many levels. I'm just showing you the introductory level. And it, it can be used for other things other than just convergence and sufficiency, but I'm just gonna show you this for now. Sometimes when people have a tough time getting those two strings to kind of narrow and, and form an X right at that green bead, then, then what they can do is touch the green bead which you're just basically involved in your somatosensory system to help it out. And sometimes when one of those strings disappears, so say the right string, the image of the right string disappears, sometimes if I just kind of massage or tap my left eye, you'll see it kind of move a bit and it brings it back into your awareness, it kind of wakes up that eye. And then you slowly, slowly bring the green bead in. Now, some of us will stop there and we'll be like, that's as far as I can go. You'll feel strain in your eyes. Uh, I think one of the most important things we tell patients is it's not so much getting the job done, it's how you get it done. So doing it in a relaxed fashion. We don't want you to work really hard and push, push, push. That's counterproductive. We actually want you just to relax. If you don't get it, you don't get it today. It'll come tomorrow and you just slide it, slide it, let it come, let it come. And right where you feel that tension, that's when you stop. And you just hold it for a bit, 10 seconds, whatever. And then slowly, slowly bring it back out. And that X, you know, the strings meet at that green dot. You will see it kind of elongate as you move the green bead away. And it will constrict as you bring it closer. I think I'm pretty good at this. What you'll feel is your eyes are starting to cross. There we go. And I can basically go to my nose. I'm not showing off, but I don't have a concussion. And then you slowly bring it back out. And that's the Brock String exercise.